October 6, 1973. A surprise attack on the holiest of days. Egyptian forces cross the canal. Syrian troops storm through the Golan Heights. They had done this the following a preparation of some three years, a very meticulous preparation in which they were trained and prepared for this very moment by the Russians. The Russians connived at this operation. They introduced a tremendous amount of equipment into the area. Approximately the same number of tanks as are in the whole of NATO and the same number of airplanes as in the whole of NATO faced Israel on both fronts on Yom Kippur Day. The battle opened under the best possible conditions that the Arabs could have chosen. With the full connivance and backing of the Russians, with a sea and airlift ready to move at the moment that they fought so that they could supply them. And with all the political backing that was necessary, A, in order to assure, assure them that they could go on to victory should, it, should they be victorious, and B, in order to assure them that should anything go wrong, the battle would be stopped, the ceasefire would be dictated to the party those 1,400 Syrian tanks crossed the line in the Golan Heights. Tanks supported by all of the supplementary units and backed by the most advanced ground-to-air missile system. Iraqi forces join in. Jordanian units join in. A very small force of Israeli regulars is pitted against this concerted attack. Battles of incredible courage take place. In the south, thousands of troops cross the canal at three major points and hold their positions at three bridgeheads on the eastern bank. The Israeli forces are outnumbered by 12 to 1. small as it is, surrounded as it is by enemies, has decided to live. And if we have to pay the price for living, we have to pay it. This is not a people that can give in. And we know that giving up means death, means destruction of our sovereignty and physical destruction of our entire people. We will not be destroyed. We dare not be destroyed. Therefore, the spirit of our men in the front, the spirit of our people in every home, in every city, in every village, is the spirit of a people that hates war, but knows that in order to live, it must win the war that has been forced upon it. Children digging, working hard to fill sandbags. A song is born. Let it be. Let it be. A people longing for peace. Children painting car headlights blue. No generation gap at this point. No time for whatever. <laughs> 